Have you ever felt controlled by someone so you lost all motivation to do the task you were doing in the first place? Do you feel that you don't really get to have a say in how your workday goes or what you learn at school? These are common experiences that are actually very disruptive to motivation. In this video, we'll explore why this is, how autonomy support can help, and how you can be more autonomy supportive. If someone attempts to coerce or pressure you into behaving in a certain way, this is called a controlling motivational style. According to cognitive evaluation theory, these instances are disruptions to an individual's locus of causality which makes you feel that you are not responsible for your actions and thus stunts motivation. Conversely, if you're given the opportunity to feel autonomy over your actions through autonomy supportive leadership, this has widely been found to foster more autonomous forms of motivation in individuals. Autonomy supportive leaders take the perspective of those they are leading and work with them to create an environment that fosters their psychological needs and aligns with their inner motivational capabilities. As suggested by self-determination theory and supported by research, this is because autonomy support satisfies psychological needs in an individual, which are inherently motivating within themselves. Autonomy support is beneficial for unmotivated individuals, those who are already autonomously motivated, and these impacts on motivation have been shown to generalise to other situations. You might be thinking, this all sounds great, but what does it actually look like? Let's have a look at four examples of autonomy supportive behaviours that have been identified as effective by psychological research. Choice can be simple but powerful. Students who were simply given a choice on what homework assignments they wished to complete were more motivated towards completing it than those who had no choice. Doing the groundwork to understand who you're actually leading shouldn't be underestimated. Explicitly asking questions about their interests or dislikes helps you understand how to best support their inner motivational capacity. Furthermore, when people complain, this can be taken as an opportunity to learn more about those you're supporting, explain why you need to do something or adjust an activity that might be too difficult or boring. Explaining the reason you want someone to pursue a behaviour is a way to combat motivation-busting boredom. Not every activity in a classroom, workspace or home actually has the capacity to be intrinsically motivating, but it may be important for other reasons. Explicitly explaining this and taking the perspective of the person that it is boring and hard to be motivated will help them to understand their actions and at least internalise the importance of the action, even if they don't find it enjoyable. Overall, autonomy support is effective across multiple situations for people with different motivational styles in increasing autonomous forms of motivation. With the examples given in this video, hopefully you can see there are plenty of small things you can do to foster autonomy support.